This is about the only gauge that I use in piano work, and it also has my name on it, and everyone in my class is going to get one of these. But it's a blow distance gauge, 45 millimeters, and one half inch of a checking gauge. One of the things I've learned from the Yamaha technicians is that the best gauges you have are these, your eyes and your fingers. But I do use this to gauge a little bit, but you don't need a whole lot of gauges. I see people carrying boxes of gauges around in their kit. Really, your eyes and your fingers, but this is one that I use especially to train my eyes and my fingers. Now I'll show you how I use this jig. The first thing you'll notice is that when I put this through the strings on a grand piano, all I have to do is twist it sideways and it stands up in the string, so it stays right there. It's really light wood, and so you can do your blow distance and just look where it is. I should mention once again that if it's 47 millimeters you're after, just look at the gauge and it's a little bit below the gauge, or if it's 43, then it's a little above the gauge. And so you put that next to the hammer that you're working on and you can very easily visually see what you're uh, after for your blow distance. And it's the same when you use the checking gauge. The gauge is a half inch, so if you want five eighths, it's gonna be a little tiny bit lower than that. And uh, that's how you use it. Just put it in and eyeball where you are. You can see here how you can easily use it with upright pianos as well. The last measurement that I don't talk much about is that the thickness of the gauge is one eighth of an inch. So when you're doing a let off, you have at least something that will show you one eighth of an inch.